Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you my purchase from actually Paris in July, really only about one month ago this year. I got this bag from Celine because I was uh, really thinking about another bag from Celine after I got the Triumph. Triumph. Um, I really, really like the quality of their leather, so I was looking purposefully find something that can be a little bit bigger. Because I usually will have a notebook or book I want to take out, so I want to find a side that can at least hold a book or a notebook. And I finally end up with this one. I'm going to kind of unbox for you guys because I got it back from Paris. See how it feels. I tested it in Paris for a good like three days. I walked by average 25,000 steps every day, everywhere. And I will share with you guys the pros and cons about this bag, but let me open it for you guys. So imagine you will get this from their store. It's just like in a white box and you will just take it out and it's in this black bag, okay? So it's really kind of a full unboxing experience. So if you open it, I'll take it out. This is actually their latest Sac 16 classic there are different options but not too many colors options due to the seasonalities there are certain colors only available um, in spring for example this one i got it it's kind of at the beginning of summer season i originally want to have a gray color or like a light gray kind of color but they don't have that one for the season this is the one of the lightest color i can find i don't want a black again I have too many black bags and um, this one is also good is because it's uh, kind of coated. You can see it's shiny. It's kind of satin, satiné. It's kind of satin like with a coating. So it's kind of more durable, not that easy to scratch. I use it on the street, going through the subway for like three days. It looks perfect so far. So one thing about this bag is actually you can kind of push the top handle down a little bit, but you cannot really like make it too low. That this is the lowest it can go because that's how the lowest point of the leather you can move it down to. And it's kind of, I don't want to hurt it. I really love this design because I like the turn locks here. I like the way that it's this design. I've always wanted one bag with this kind of turn lock, turn key, I would say. I kind of stuffed it with all kinds of other things just to make sure it keeps the shape. Airbags, this comes in handy, guys. If you order anything from Amazon, Target, delivery, whatever, you have this, you keep it on. And they can be cut and used for different sizes of bags. So you can see it has Celine Paris on the front of the lock right here if i have been using the lock like turning around multiple times you can see kind of circle shade here right but it's fine doesn't bother me um so you have, if you open it up it has a front pocket it's spacious and it's kind of more flexible and stretchable than other sizes you can put uh, uh cloth there you can put uh We'll show what it fits later. And then spacious. It's spacious with two kind of equally com divided compartments. So it comes uh, actually with a lock. I really like this lock design. It's so pretty. I take it off because after you wear this bag for a while, it gets re really heavy. And then the lock is really to lock this zipper. You can see you can put the lock here. Let me see if I can show you guys. And it's really easy actually to push the keys out. The keys are pretty too. They are like really cute design. Like with this special, oh sorry, with kind of this special shape. So the concept or the design inspiration came from the headquarter of Celine. It is located on, I need to look up the address, but the street number is 16. So, and it's inspired by the building of the uh, office. 
So that's why you can see the structure is much well structured. So you can take the keys out. You can unlock it. It's actually really smooth and has a really nice click sound. And you can lock it. You can lock it. They say they designed this for moms who have kids who will play with the bags and open things and tear things down, whatever. Because it's kind of heavy. So usually where it will be will be actually next to the top handle. So usually they put it here. Um, kind of. And it's kind of uh, tangling like this, you know. And it's a little bit heavy, so. I'm just going to take it out and uh, you see the two compartments straightforward and I put the cylinder seat here and my maintenance card here. I always leave all my original purchase cards or documentations in the bag with bag so I don't forget where they are. It's very nice, smooth, beautiful, has a beautiful smell, good smell of the leather. It's really beautiful at the back. The other thing I've noticed like after a while is really if you stuff it like certain angles, like sometimes you will see one angle pop up and the other side is actually kept in. That's something you kind of need to be aware. Make sure when you use it, you kind of stuff it evenly on both sides. I also really like the four feet. I, I'd rather keep all the kind of um, plastic stickers there as long as possible so I can be more comfortable leaving them down on the floor. And then the other way, oops, sorry. The other thing is really like the belt. If you want to wear it crossbody, you can just put the belt on and can easily wear it crossbody. It actually is a perfect size for me for 5'3", wearing it crossbody. And it, um, my kind of butt helps to hold the weight a little bit too. And when I wear it as crossbody, I keep the hand, uh, top handle up, so it's easier for me to, let's say I wanna open it up like this, you know, and I wanna close it down. You kind of do need another hand to help sometimes to get the lock in place and then you can turn it with another hand. That's the other thing about this bag is a little bit not as convenient or one hand free operation as others. And you will see like I love Celine's kind of low-key design. They have Celine everywhere like in those small details. You don't really see big logos for this design. Triumph is the one that they have the big design. You know, you see it out, oh, that's Celine. But this one, you cannot really tell until you see Celine on the zippers. And uh, they don't usually, they probably do put like made in. Okay, so this one is made in Italy. So you will see made in Italy here. So yeah, and uh so what it fits, let me show you guys that then. What it fits is really, let's say I have a long wallet. I'm just using this cute case spade kind of handle a wallet to show you. It can easily be there, so easy. Because this, this handbag is truly spacious. And my sunglasses, glasses, and the beauty of this is I can put a notebook, no problem. I can also even put a normal size book. That's what that's what I really love about this bag is I can really take my books out. And I think this also fit probably a iPad. I'm going to take this out today and I want to go to an Apple store to see if an iPad might fit this. I will see if I can make a video about that later. And you know what? I have a normal size of water bottle you can easily fit in here um and of course like the wallet car holders whatever i already put a long wallet like my car keys very easy um you can and the phone can be sliding here and when it's full actually it's better to kind of close it uh and now it might be too full i probably stretched the limit so let me actually 
take out one notebook and let me keep this water bottle in i think this works yeah because the bottom part is wider so you can put bulky things at the bottom and you can close it now the cons of this bag is oh, it gets really heavy now it gets really heavy so you can only kind of do probably top handle uh, you can do it like a crossbody. I was in Paris walking for three to four hours every day. I think it's about the limit for you to actually put this on your shoulder because this belt is too thin. It does hurt your shoulder a little bit after I would say three to four hours constantly wearing it. I was wearing it walking everywhere. I didn't really stop. So, but if you like, Wear it for one hour, you stop somewhere for coffee for one hour, you can wear it longer. I love the size because it, if I go anywhere, it's really practical size. I go anywhere like to work or meet some friends and we need to discuss about a book or share notes, I can use this. I, and if it's raining, I can put my uh, umbrella there because my umbrella is smaller than this water bottle. I'm going to close this video here and put more details in the descriptions, links about uh, this on the website, on their web official website in the description and see if I can do another follow-up video when I take it on the street and do some more photos for you guys later. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your next search of your wonderful purse. Bye.